Hi, my name is Amanda Meese. I'm a senior producer at Little Dot Studios. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the different roles and skill sets of a producer and a director in the entertainment industry. So most people know that a director is the lead creative visionary who brings a story to life. The producer, on the other hand, she's that businesswoman. She oversees a film from start to finish. When you see a film win Best Picture, it's usually the producers that come up to receive that award. Directors give creative notes, but so can producers. And so when it comes to who's calling the shots on set, that can get quite tricky. There's usually one director on a project, but there's often many producers. So here's a quick breakdown of those roles. First, you have line producers. Those are the ones who are in charge of the budget and the crew. Next, you have executive producers. Usually those people find the cash, they bring in the cash, or they're just famous, and they have some great connections and bring in some different talents or things to elevate the film. Another one are associate producers. Associate producers are pretty straightforward. They help the producer. Sometimes that means they went above and beyond on a project and they got that credit, or maybe they didn't do anything at all and that credit was given to them to appease somebody. But at the very least, getting that credit, getting the title of an associate producer helps you move forward in becoming a producer or getting that notoriety in the next project. And then lastly, you have creative producers. Those are people who oversee the entire production, but they also shepherd the creative as well. But wait a minute, isn't that what a director does? Let's think of this as a painting to keep things simple. So if the producer has this vision of an amazing piece of art that's going to go into a certain exhibit on a certain day and she has gone to get the financing to make this work of art she then hires the director or the artist to create it and to paint it even though it's the director's job to make this beautiful work of art the producer is going to help provide the canvas the paint brushes the paints whatever the director needs to do their best work. But sometimes the producer can also guide that creative because let's say the exhibition is all about stormy days and this director is really great at painting oceans. So the producer is going to tell them, make sure we really do this stormy scene. And the financier really wants to use lots of cobalt blue. So you gotta make sure you include the cobalt blue here and here. And the audience, the people who are coming to this gallery on this day are expecting X, Y, and Z. And so she's guiding kind of that whole process to make sure all the parties that are involved are happy and satisfied with the final result. The first and most important skill I think that's needed for a director is that she needs to have confidence in her creative vision. To be a creative visionary is great, but that's not enough. She needs to not be easily swayed by others and needs to be the captain of that ship. On top of that, she needs to be a fantastic leader. So she's gonna be working with lots of different departments, maybe sometimes with A-list talent, and she has to be able to lead everybody in the execution of what she's doing. And the other really important skill is that she's an effective communicator. So it's great that she has this awesome vision, but she has to be able to communicate that out in a really great way to all the different departments from pre-production all the way through post-production. A great director stands firm in her vision and isn't afraid to communicate that out effectively to cast and crew. She is the captain of the ship and she's overseeing things from pre-production through post and people are looking to her to make sure that that ship sails smoothly. A producer's role is a little more complex and she needs to be a little bit of everything to everyone. Some of the most important skills, she's got to be that businesswoman. She needs to be an artist or a curator. She's also a connector and a politician. I think a great producer really understands what the project needs to succeed. And if we're going back to a little bit of that ship analogy, she's that compass. She sees all sides of what's going on and makes sure that the director, the other producers, the financiers, the distributors, and most importantly, in my opinion, the audience is getting what they need and what they're looking for. So at the end of the day, the most important thing is that the producer and the director have this awesome symbiotic relationship and they're working together to achieve the same goal. So many times I've seen a project fail or just do poorly because there's just not a great connection there. And I think it's really important that the producer and the director work together to help build up each other's strengths and weaknesses and that they find a great way to progress forward to ensure the success of a project. At the end of the day, despite the different roles and skills of a producer and director, it's about that relationship. Hopefully this video helped. If you have any questions or any other thoughts about this, leave them in the comments below. Let us know if you want us to talk about anything else, and we'll see you next time.